So the issue is trying to figure out how, what to do with those costs, right? There are three costs there, right? What's the first one, Matthew? Monthly expenses of twenty five thousand associated with did it uh, depreciation, right? depreciation and stuff. So what did you do with that? Uh, or what do you think that should be, should be done with that? I'm not real sure. You're not really. You just stick it in every month. Yeah, this is the easy one. I, I was like, sorry. Oh, you just stick it in every month. Yeah. Now it's important to recognize every cost in here is manufacturing overhead. Every one of the examples in this particular problem. <laughs> our manufacturing overhead. And so the first one, we just put in every month. You just put, 20, is it 25,000, Matthew? Mm -hmm. 25,000 in every month. Poof, done, end of story. Brandon, what's the second one? Uh, 48,000 for fire insurance. 48,000 for fire insurance, and when did we pay that? Uh, we paid it in January, but then the firefighter failed to respond to the notice of default. Well, you don't have to, but I would suggest that might be the most appropriate way to do it. Yeah. Okay. Because there's no, yeah, there's no have to. We, we're not dealing with gap here. Thank heavens. Yes. And so, so the 48, uh, Brandon likes taking that 48,000, dividing by 12, and spreading it out over 12 months, right? Right. Awesome. Mr. King, do you concur? I do. Okay, awesome. Heidi, what about the last one? The last one, what cost is the last one? Okay. And when did we incur that cost? December 15th, so we just, we basically we did some maintenance on December 15th, right? What did you do with that? You expensed it throughout the whole year, okay? Cody, what did you do with it? You're gonna add it to December. Aubrey? Same as who? <laughs> December? It's, a, it's all the same year. It's all the same year. Yes, it is all supposed to be the same year. Mr. Newland is still not here? Shame on him. Pamela, what did you do? You put it all in December. Christy? Yeah, and so, what, what? The 36,000. You, you, you want to spread it out. Is that what you want to do? How come? Because it says here, it says that it's January to December. Yeah, but you could still just put, yes, you could just <laughs> put it in, you could put it in, in just in December. Yes. No. You, you could. Heidi remembers very well. She's done an outstanding job today of remembering things that I've taught her before. Because uh, that is, do you remember why we did this? Heidi? Or just remember that we did? That's, that's also the why. That's exactly right. The why is the machines benefit the whole year. But more importantly, and so what we are doing, though, recognize what we are doing is we are answering the question, Dr. Fessler, why do companies do what you are about to teach us? I'm, gonna, I'm about to teach you a technique that is really used to spread out manufacturing overhead across the year. Why? One, very often some of those expenses benefit more than one period. Two, companies like smooth expenses. Smooth is good. Bumpy is bad. Smooth is good. And so what we're about to learn, this is kind of just giving you an opportunity to face kind of the, to experience kind of real issues that real companies face with regard to what do we do with these expenses. But in real life, what companies would do, and, and the most, the one that students struggle with the most is that last one, that $36,000. How, how can they spread it through the whole year, Dr. Fessler? Because they didn't get the bill until December. But did they know, in all likelihood, was that maintenance a surprise? In all likelihood, they knew about it in advance, had budgeted for it or estimated that it would occur, and based on that estimate, can spread it out. Yes, sir? What is it, like a different situation, and it would say, like, 
you know, machines work and saying how many of those plays. Like yeah, then you just fix you fix surprises in December with a, an adjustment but I'm saying, to zero out an account. Would you spread it out or would you put it just in December? Is that like, you know, a total well, price? what happens? Does the purchase price wind up? You, did you like that gesture? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is a, yes. So, is it the purchase price that winds up in manufacturing overhead of a new machine? What winds up in manufacturing overhead? Is it the purchase price of the new machine or maybe depreciation? depreciation. Yeah. But and then that becomes a smooth number. But I'm saying, no, no, like as it grows. Like but, that, but you're still, but still, you're, you, the, it's not the purchase price that winds up in. You don't need to buy a new one. It's not a yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you don't buy a new one. I'm saying you have to repair it. Well, then, uh, then you spread that out. So you do spread it out. Yeah, you do spread it out. Okay. Yes, you do spread it out. You, a little, if, if you can't back, you can't backfill, but you can make adjustments in the last period to make everything zero out. And we'll, and we'll see the mechanics of it here in a moment, but what I'm giving you here before we encounter the mechanics of it is a little bit of a, why are we doing this? Okay, and so we'll get to the mechanics here in just a moment on how it would happen. But, uh, but we're getting to why we would do this, okay? So hopefully, I'll, if, hopefully I'll, if, if your mechanics questions aren't, in, you know, aren't answered by the end of the class period, let me know. But, but, but I'm trying to get to why do we do this? And so today's why we'll encounter. I'm glad you like the airplane. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And thankfully it's on film. You know, as I look at myself on film, I make some strange gestures. I mean, by my own, you know, evaluation. But, oh well. So most days I'm glad I don't have to watch me. So what page? You don't know. Because I haven't told you. Oh, yes, we do. Let's take notes applying overhead. What page is that? I don't know. You tell me. Applying overhead. PDOR. What do you think PDOR stands for? Tony, do you remember this? Predetermined overhead rate. PDOR stands for predetermined overhead rate. And it is calculated as follows. PDOR equals estimated manufacturing overhead divided by estimated activity. And so estimated in the formula, you're, you'll encounter other words for estimated, such as budgeted. Budgeted is going to be a big word that you'll encounter in place of the word estimated in problems. So budgeted, forecasted, outlook was a word that we used in my company. Uh, 